Okay, so in this game, we are going to be testing out the i5-9600K, which is a mid-range chip a lot of people used for gaming builds, and it came out in 2018. So this is not that old of a chip. And guys, can you see that we are struggling to maintain 60 frames per second right now? Now you might be like, well, that's because your GPU limited. No, I'm not. Look at my GPU usage. So this is an, uh, <laughs> this is an RX 6800 XT. So we're definitely not GPU limited right now, although we are at um, ultra settings at 1440p, but this is completely being held back by the i5-9600K. We are at ultra settings. Now, I think a few of these settings could possibly impact the CPU, like maybe like how many objects are on screen, that kind of a thing. Um, so I will try lowering some settings as we go, but I'd like to point out that at least in certain scenes, we are not doing real well here. <laughs> and I've got to say that, okay, cool, we get big maps and we get 128 players, but if you just get a bigger map, which you put more people in, but that means that the density of like people in each area doesn't actually feel that much different than in previous games. In fact, I just kind of feel like there's a lot more dead space, a lot more running around. And my personal preference in gameplay is towards infantry combat rather than vehicles. And so I feel like, I don't know, these changes have not only made the game much more difficult to run on, on your CPU, but like, <laughs> I just don't think it's worth it. Now let's try a couple of things. One thing I want to try is switching off future frame rendering. So let's see if that does anything. So I just turned off future frame rendering and I mean, I still feel like we're bouncing around between the 60s and the 70s in terms of frame rate. So if there is a difference between on and off, it doesn't appear to be very large. Are we spending a little more time in the 70s? Let's try turning it back on, see if it uh, goes back more into the 60s a bit. It's hard to tell sometimes in a online game like this, because what's going on in the game can change as well. Now, I feel like we're still in kind of the mid-70s. So it does not feel like future frame rendering is doing anything. So let's actually try lowering the graphics settings. And I do want to actually get into combat at some point and, and kind of test out how we're doing there. So let's actually go all the way down to low settings and see if that has any effect on the CPU usage. Okay, look, we're up into the 80s and 90s now. Actually, we're even hitting 100. So it does look like at least some of the settings are not just affecting the GPU usage. It does appear to have some impact on the CPU. That's really interesting. I'm curious exactly which settings they are. So first of all, let's try popping up to medium and see if we lose whatever happened there. Uh, still up getting into the 80s, 90s. Maybe a bit lower. Hard to say for sure. Let's try raising up to high. Okay, we're up to high now. Hmm. Okay, kind of mid 80s, 90s. Let, let's go back up to ultra again. I feel like at ultra we had lower frame rates, despite the fact that we're CPU limited. Yeah, look at that. Well, I don't know. Is it just changing what's going on on the map? Maybe there's less players in the area? No, I feel like there was a measurable difference. So it, I, I do think that we're getting a difference between these lower settings. Let's go all the way down to low again. I feel like we're more consistently in the upper 80s. And look, we're out up into the 90s, even around 100. So I will conclude that the graphics settings do have some impact on the CPU usage. So that is something to keep in mind. In some games, they don't. So you can just turn your graphic settings as high as you can if you're at a CPU limit. And that does not appear to be the case here. Although, like I said, at least on this hardware setup, it doesn't feel like the future frame rendering is having uh, really anything impactful to do. Let's see, are we going to get into some actual combat here? Did I see an enemy? There's at least some shooting happening. Let's 
So again, we're currently at low settings. You can tell it's definitely a CPU limit. You can see the GPU is barely doing anything right now, or <laughs> 50, 60% usage. Definitely limited on this uh, six core, six thread chip. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I left it at stock settings because for one thing, not everybody overclocks their CPU, but also not everybody can get the same overclock and we're not gonna see some any kind of like mind blowing difference in terms of performance. I'd, I'd guess maybe 10% tops, probably less. I do not have the right weapon for that range of combat. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we'll probably redeploy. And then I wanna check one of these specific settings real quick before we're done here. So I'm gonna hop in somewhere where I think there's a lot of people. Now I'm curious if the setting that's really making the big difference is the high fidelity objects amount. Can I adjust that independently? Can I go to custom? Okay, so here we are at ultra. Okay, so at ultra, look, there's definitely a difference. See how we're kind of struggling around 60, 70 now, where we were up in the 80s? Okay, so I'm curious how much of it is just the high fidelity objects. So what if I turn that down to low and leave everything else at ultra? Ah, maybe not. Well, hmm. Actually, really, maybe that's that's not it. Let's let's try everything going back to low again. There might be more to it than that. Do we bump up again, going everything down to low? Yeah, I feel like we're more consistently up in the 80s and 90s. So it's not just the high fidelity objects. I wonder if we can pin down exactly which settings would make sense here. Hmm. I don't know, guys. You probably don't want me to just sit here playing around with all the different settings in this video. And I'm getting shot. So it's it's so hard to pin down exactly what's going on in a multiplayer game like this, because uh, it's hard to control the variables of what's going on around you. However, um, what I can say for sure is that this game is incredibly demanding on the CPU, and I just don't think the 128 player maps were worth that change if you're just going to make the maps bigger, because I feel like there's not even a lot of action happening here. So let's get a kill or two, and then uh, call it a day. <laughs> Have an excellent day.